Hey everyone, I'm Tony. Welcome to Wealth Science X. I'm Jamal. Uh, guys, this has been a wild week in this market. Uh, super volatile. Um, myself, I did pick up some shares. I bought some more ETFs specifically in the genomics area. Uh, and I'm going to go over those in this video. Uh, we called last week in our video uh, that we would expect a market correction for the week. And that was like part two. And uh, look what happened this week. We had a nasty sell-off on the tech market. And... You know, we were ready for that. We were, I was mostly in cash. I didn't open any new positions. I'm neutral on the market. But I wanted to go over some technical analysis on a stock that I think has some upside for the next couple of weeks if we can get some momentum back in the, in the tech market and genomics sector. Uh, so we're gonna go through a technical analysis video on Invite. Make sure you like, subscribe, and smash the like button. Let's and get to it. The first stock I wanted to go over was Invite. Um, this is a genomics uh, company. Um, it's a mid, it's a mid cap that's growing, and the genomics sector in general has been going up um, since 2020. So let's go through the technical analysis on this stock and what I'm expecting for the next couple weeks on it. So uh, as you can see at this level back in June, um, Invite had a major uh, gap up um, from. $18 to a high of $27.77 in one day. So uh, just taking a point from that big candle um, and extending it, we can see that this is a, a new support line that was kind of formed since that major uh, gap up. And um, anytime it's hit this line, we can see we found some buyers stepping in and rallying the, uh, the stock up. And to see what levels of resistance we had, um, it's it's around this area, this level. Anytime the stock has gone over this level, um, sellers stepped in and brought this stock back into the price channel. Um, for the past couple weeks, um, you can see since Feb, we had a major sell-off in Invite. And we've fallen below support. And um, right now, like what you can see, um, the last couple of weeks, We've had a move in Invite much lower, um, all the way to a low of $31 from the high of 63. So uh, Invite is close to 50% off at the moment, um, close to 50% off when it was at its lows. And right now, um, I'm looking at a inverse head and shoulders on this stock. Uh, so looking at the head, and then we got this level of uh, uh, trading, which is like the left shoulder, and right now we've been forming this right shoulder. And um, right now, Invite is a really good opportunity to to buy for maybe that play. We're sitting right at the support of thirty eight dollars, and as long as we hold this level, I see Invite for like going back or at least trying to get into this channel again. Um, so my price target, Tony, would be like around yeah. maybe uh forty eight. To 50 bucks and uh, that would be a move that's close to so close to an 18 percent return like if if this technical setup plays out right now uh the setup looks like a good entry we want to take out the first level of resistance at 4471 and then if we can we can go through that level i think we'll be at 48 fairly soon um the only thing that's standing in its way is the overall tech sector and interest rates going up so as long as you know the tech sector doesn't find some momentum next week we might break this level of support at 38 and then make a move down back to the 30 level so right now like with the current situation of the market I would be kind of neutral, maybe open a small starter position, and that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe I'd open up a position that's, you know, 30, 40% of my total um, cash size that I want to go in. Mm -hmm. And if it drops back to this level, I'll like buy back in on the low, so I average down. And if, if we can find some momentum, I'll be riding this um, to the upside. Um, so make sure you check this out um, in Vite. It's, it's, it's a great stock for the long-term long -term portfolio as well, and it can be set up as a trade for the next couple of weeks. 
Tony here. So uh, I just want to go over a couple of the uh, purchases that I did um, earlier this week. This was on Friday. So what I did is I picked up some iDNA, ArcG, and then IBB. And if you don't know, so these are ETFs. And if you don't know what an ETF is, an ETF is an exchange traded fund, which is comprised of uh, a list of different companies um, based on um, like any different type of uh, sector or market type or so I really like uh, Arc G. Uh, so this is a great one by Kathy Woods. Uh, it's one of the Arc ETFs. And uh, you get you get a lot of exposure to like CRISPR therapeutics, for example, um, a lot of genomic uh, technology. Um, myself being a tech guy, I, I, I love uh, technology and I really believe, you know, this is um, something that's going to be at the forefront of, you know, really advancing our society. Just let's go over some of the companies that um, that it's uh, comprised of. So these are the top 10 holdings. You can see, you know, it's weighted. So you got Teladoc Health, you got Exact Sciences Corp, Pacific Biosciences, um, you know, Fate Therapeutics. So you can kind of see these are the different types of uh, uh, companies you get exposure to. You know, if uh, so, you know, it, it is a good overall um, ETF. It has a 0.75 expense ratio, which you know is a little bit high, but it's still really Overall, not a big deal. And for the one year chart for the ARC Genomic uh, ETF, so we can see that in the last year it's up 225%. Next up, I want to go over uh, IBB, which is uh, an iShares. On, well, this is basically a, uh, an ETF that tra tracks a lot of the bi biotech and pharmaceutical companies in the NASDAQ. And uh, just to go over some of the companies um, in it, so you can see with the highest weight, it's Amgen. Uh, Gilead Sciences, Lumina, Moderna. Uh, I really like Moderna, guys. I think that Moderna is a great company. Uh, CGen. So these are the type of companies that are involved in IBB. We can see the one-year chart. It's up 50% over the last year. That's that's pretty solid. Um, that's pretty impressive in, in my opinion. What do you think, Jamal? Genomic sector and anything biotech related, Tony, is going to boom over the next couple of years. Um, Right now, the U.S. is going to be heavily dependent on, you know, healthcare and all these issues. So a lot of funding is going to go into these companies. Just this last one I want to go over. So this is iDNA, which is uh, uh, Genomics and Immunology Healthcare ETF. Uh, I really love iShares. Uh, I, I, I really, uh, I think, you know, they do, a, uh, BlackRock does a great job in picking um, some solid companies, but you can kind of see where, how they're weighted. You've got, uh, you know, Takeda Pharmaceutical, uh, Merck, Sanofi, uh, Moderna, as well as in there. Uh, if you want to know more about ETFs, we do have an ETF video. Keep in mind, uh, there are pros and cons to ETFs, and you should watch the ETF video before you do buy some ETFs. And just to go over the iDNA uh, one-year chart, it's up 92% over the last year. Uh, that's pretty impressive performance for an ETF. I, a lot of stocks don't even perform this well. Um, so we can see that iDNA, IBB, ETF, and ARCG um, are all pretty solid picks for ETFs. And the biggest winner in this one is ARCG. Um, so being an owner of all three and being a big ETF investor, uh, everyone, I do work full time, so I love to buy ETFs. And if you don't know, I always purchase on Fridays because that's typically when the prices are, are the cheapest. And remember, we always want to buy low and sell high, right? And also, for me personally, I try to invest for the long term. And I always look for the long term solution. All right, everyone, we hope you liked the video this week. And keep in mind, we did make a call out last week for Numer AI. It is up 25% from last week. Make sure you join our free Discord group. It's going to be linked in the description below. Um, we call out plays on our Discord. We have a small community, a small family, where we help each other out with you know technical analysis or even just like calling out stocks that are moving throughout the day. And we post a pre-trading plan each morning so you can expect what stocks the team is looking at and how kind of the overall like setup for the day is looking like for the team. Everyone, I really expect the genomic sector to really take off. You know, for us to advance higher on the Carter Chef scale, I really believe genomics is going to take us um, there, and especially technology. So, hope you guys like the video, and we'll see you next week.